If you're considering making a move to the beautiful state of New Hampshire, you're in for a treat today. We're about to dive into the nitty gritty of what life is really like in the Granite State. Sure, it's known for its stunning landscapes and quaint towns, but there is a lot more to the story. So get ready because we're revealing what they don't tell you about living in New Hampshire. And if that's something that you really appreciate, if you could just do me a huge favor and just hit the like button. I know it's super small, but it really helps me out. So thank you so much for doing that. So first off, I grew up in New Hampshire and lived there for the first 20 years of my life. And today I live about 10 minutes from New Hampshire in Southern Maine. And so I definitely think I have some valuable information to share with you today about what it's really like to live here. And before I even start, let me just introduce myself real quick. My name's Cam Avery. I'm actually a local resident and real estate agent with the Avery Realty Group and Keller Williams Coastal Realty. And this channel is all about relocating to Southern Maine and Seacoast, New Hampshire. And so if that's you, definitely subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much again for doing that. The last video we made about New Hampshire, we accidentally put Maine on the state that was highlighted and I got so many comments about that. So in this video, we definitely fixed it up. We don't want anyone getting confused here. And so I'm glad that we got that sorted. So when you hear New Hampshire, if you're not from New England, you probably think, where is that again? And then you pull up the map and see, oh yeah, it's that place with the old man on the mountain that actually fell off. It was a sad day when that happened because it was like our one claim to fame, right? The old man on the mountain. And then one day we woke up and they were like, yeah, you know, that rock that looked like that old guy. So it kind of just fell off. And we're like, well, what do we have now, right? Bummer. But if you're thinking about moving here, you probably have heard about how New Hampshire is the live free or die state, right? No taxes. Yay, and sure, it's true. New Hampshire doesn't have any sales or income tax. However, it's definitely not true that the state doesn't have any taxes. In fact, New Hampshire has some of the highest property taxes in the country. They also have a business tax, which is something you really need to know if you're a business owner thinking about moving here. Essentially, the way I look at it is like this. The government is going to get their money from you one way or another. Just because New Hampshire doesn't have a sales or income tax definitely doesn't mean it's tax free. And so make sure that you know this before you load up in the U-Haul and head to New Hampshire. Another thing no one is going to tell you about New Hampshire is that the only place worth moving to is the seacoast. Now, before you bite my head off in the comments because you love Laconia and the Lakes region and your best friend, wife lives in Manch Vegas and it's the best city on earth, right? Just hear me out, okay? This is my personal opinion. I'm not trying to hate on anyone's home. My goal is just to share with you my own personal opinion on the area so that you can understand where I'm coming from. You may hear me talk about the Seacoast and think, you know what, I'd prefer Errol, New Hampshire, population 264 with an annual lumberjack competition that I actually went to on vacation once and it was actually wicked awesome. But for me, the Seacoast is the place to be. I actually grew up near the Manchester area and moved out to the Seacoast when I was 18 and honestly, felt a little gypped. We only lived about an hour and a half away, but man, it feels like a totally different world. The culture, the towns, being close to the ocean, being an hour from Boston and Portland and Alton Bay. You've got Portsmouth, which is definitely the best city in New Hampshire, Dover, UNH. There is so much more to do and see on the seacoast than in central and western New Hampshire that to me just makes it a no brainer. If you can afford the cost of living here, the seacoast is the place to be. And feel free to share your opinion in the comments. I'd love to hear different perspectives, people that live throughout different areas of New Hampshire, but please let's try try to keep it civil. Hey, if you are serious about moving here, I did want to let you know that we actually created a complete relocation guide to Southern Maine and Seacoast, New Hampshire. You can download it totally for free just by clicking the link right in the description below. Something else that no one really talks about when it comes to living in New Hampshire is how if you're trying to escape Massachusetts, just know that about 95% of people that live in New Hampshire either grew up in Mass, have family in Mass, or work in Mass. Why would you want to escape Massachusetts? Did you ask? Well, I'm probably going to leave that one alone or maybe for a different video, but suffice it to say that much of Southern New Hampshire could essentially be referred to as Northern Massachusetts. Now, all I'm going to say is this, Massachusetts drivers are by far the worst drivers you'll ever see. And they're slowly but surely invading the towns of Southern New Hampshire. I had to drive through Manchester the other day and it honestly felt like I was in the NASCAR 500. People were cutting me off, changing four lanes at a time. Guys, it was nuts. It was ridiculous. Unfortunately, this is only going to get worse, but you know, live free or die, right? I, I guess, although in this case, it, it kind of felt more like live free and die from road rage. 
The irony of this whole section, of course, is that my family is all from Massachusetts, which is something else that no one really talks about because they don't want to admit it. <laughs> Although people from New Hampshire spend a lot of time complaining about other people moving here from other states, the reality is that pretty much everyone is from another state, and there are very few people, especially in southern New Hampshire, who are actually born and live in New Hampshire. I guess it's pretty hypocritical of us, but we do seem to do it anyways. And if you move here, give it a few years and you'll be right there with us complaining about all these people from Mass moving to our great state. So what about the bugs? You know, I always get comments about bugs. And it's funny because people from Texas and Louisiana will ask me, so how are the mosquitoes there? And I'm like, well, you know, they're probably better than the scorpions, alligators, and rattlesnakes and venomous spiders down there, <laughs> right? I mean, there's nothing here in terms of bugs and animals that really wants to kill you. So yeah, you do have to wear bug spray and check for ticks, but it's something that you'll get used to and if you're coming from down south new england is going to seem like a walk in the park guys i hope you learned something from this video i did my best to pull the curtain back and show you some things about new hampshire that no one really talks about but you probably still should definitely watch this video about why new hampshire is one of the most overlooked states in the country